The triticale is it's, um, it's a cross between rye and wheat, and so you get some elements of both of those in the, in the flavor of it. You know, you get that kind of rye spiciness and that wheat uh, graininess or cereal kind of character you get from the wheat. Um, we're using dark candy sugar in this, and that's what really provides kind of that, that amber uh, deep color and some of the sweetness that you, that you taste. Yeah, the prune and raisin, that's all coming from the dark candy sugar. And, um, you know, we ended up using some, some Belgian uh, dark crystal malt in this beer as well, just to kind of give it a little more complexity and give it uh, uh, some a deeper hue. We used our Dens yeast, which we've used before, but it tends to be a little more slanted towards fruit as opposed to phenolics, and, uh, and, and we didn't want the phenolics to be overwhelming in this beer. It, it definitely has a relationship with the Vertical Epic beers, and I think we'll see that with some of the stochasticity beers, because the Vertical Epics were, you know, they were, an avenue for us to try different ingredients and try different brewing techniques and that's what stochasticity is as well you know just a chance for us to branch out from from our norm and think out of the box with ingredients or, or beer styles